Hello everybody, Navy Vet 76 here in the backyard. Last couple of weeks here in uh, northern Indiana we've had quite a bit of weather. Uh, hasn't been conducive to going out to the range. However, I had an opportunity Friday to go out to the range and I wanted to talk a little bit about my idea for a hunting rifle. I um, bought a mo model 1950 Colombian Mauser chambered in 30-06. Um, I slugged the bore on this rifle. It is uh, 309 and a half thousandths. Really nice bore on this rifle. I thought I'd show it to you. And what I did was I put a long eye relief scope on it, so weaver scope. Also, I wanted it to make it so that there was no damage to the rifle and that it could be put back to its original iron sights. So uh, I spent some money on this. No sense in going with a cheap rifle. Um, it's uh, modeled after a K98 from the looks of it. Uh, I also, for the scope mount, use a Bad Ace tactical mount. And what that does is it replaces the ladder sight and the spring. And these just knock out. It's pretty easy to uh, knock these out and then put them back in. So where I hunt, um, I'm on private land, so it's legal to use this rifle. Um, there's, uh, it's, it's a small woods and, and surrounded by farmland, but uh, my maximum distance from my deer stand to the property line is about 150 yards. So initially, and well, not initially, I zeroed this rifle at 50 yards so this rifle with this scope is dead on at 50 yards so I took it out to the range this Friday and um, wanted to see the change in elevation from 25 yards and again at 100 yards so at 100 yards you can see this right here was the first five shot group. So I adjusted for um, windage and that's not a bad group. I got a flyer down here, but uh, that's a good enough group for deer. At 50 yards, they'd all be in the black. Uh, I believe the inconsistency is because, well, I'm, I could be a better shot. And then, here it is at 25 yards. So, what I'm trying to say here is, there's very little arc at 100 yards with this rifle. I'm very comfortable comfortable at aiming at the heart area, and uh, confident. I'm very confident that uh, I can harvest a deer with this rifle, no problem. I'm really happy with this rifle. I don't know if all Colombian Model 1950 Mausers are as nice as this one is. Maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. But there may come a time when I want to bring it back to its original iron sights and that's really easy to do. The um, Bad Ace Tactical Scope mount is just pins and uh, some uh, set screws and they come with instructions and they're real easy to put in and adjust. You got an initial elevation adjustment with the uh, mount and then the rest of it you do with the scope. Now this scope I paid about $180 for. It. I know it's not super expensive but it works with this rifle. I'm uh, 
I have my uh, zero set. Deer season isn't for quite several months away in the fall. Um, I'm going to put this away and uh, not mess with it again till deer season. I'm, I'm very pleased. I just thought I'd share that with you. I know I haven't posted much in a while. I've got another project I'm working on and that's uh, a Dutch Manlicker carbine. I may have posted a video on it before. Um, right now I'm having trouble popping primers. I don't know what the deal is, whether I got a headspace issue or not. But later on maybe we'll discuss that. Be well my friends. It's, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And I will get out to the range soon. Have a happy 4th of July.